Firstly, apologize for the audio, maybe the video too. This is kind of a low budget, what do they call it, guerrilla style, street style, I don't know. It's just like not a professional style because I don't get paid for this. Uh, this is a, it's actually a container. I printed it and it's pretty cool. I didn't design it, I didn't model it. I can model, but I didn't model this one. Anyway, if you put it on the table, it's like a weevil wobble. The whole end started to lift out. That's the whole point of this is that uh, ABS likes to warp. Um, so, and I'm just going to get to the end right now. For Futura, tight, are tight in ABS and it's all flat. Anyway, um, the whole thing about this is it's a low warp, so it doesn't warp, or at least it's not supposed to. It didn't warp for me. Uh, and that's the thing, it's like I looked out there and I had a hard time finding a video or something that just says, here's what to buy for ABS that doesn't warp. And this is, I hopefully people can find this because that's exactly what I was looking for. I, I try to do videos if I can't find it right away or I, mean, I spend some time, but if I can't find it, I figure, put it out there so someone can get the solution. So there is a solution. It's the um, Form Futura R Titan. This is not it, actually. It's in the printer right now. I didn't want to go ahead and take it out for this. I mean, I'm kind of lazy. Uh, but it, you know, of course it looks like this. I'll give some shots of it. Uh, you can see it, uh, here we go. Yeah, so it's being used because it's so cool. And my regular ABS, it's, uh, I think it was Amazon Basics, cheapy, cheapy brand, 19.95, so like 20 bucks. Um, the our Titan is not 20 bucks, it's like 43, I think about 47 with tax, so it's like twice as much, but it didn't work. Now, this is one, I, this is a nice little flat piece. I mean, it's the bigger and wider and more territory, more real estate that you print, the more likely it's gonna start lifting. Um, but this is a nice piece of real estate and it's flat, but it doesn't go up, it's not, it's not very many layers high. It's like, almost like stories. It's like a, a one story building. Pretty large, it's probably like two or three millimeters high. But when it starts to come up, it starts to warp, uh, which is just a huge pain. So again, I've already recommended my brakes because people say, just get to the point. I already got to the point. If all you were after was like, what to buy, I just told you, the R Titan. Uh, I almost don't even want to recommend it because like, what if everybody starts buying it and they, you know, it's always out of stock, but I don't know, it seems like from, there weren't a lot of reviews um, and it was kind of hard to find, so I almost worry about the opposite. If we aren't buying it, maybe that company won't last, but it's ABS modified, so it's still an ABS uh, filament, but it's like they inject stuff, they just make it so it doesn't work. Uh, so I did the same thing, this thing again, I actually did need two of them, and totally flat. Well, that's the table. That's the table. Yeah, that's the table. It's a, yeah, totally flat. So it's like, and this one was interesting because it wasn't like a flat piece. It started warping on the end. Um, and the next one I printed totally flat. Uh, yeah, so I'm very, very happy with it. It's like I'm doing the review already. I've only done one print, uh, but it was this one. And I did the lid too. Although again, when it's only a few layers high, the other thing about my ABS is when it started to go high, it's like in the middle of it, it starts splitting and stuff, and it just it didn't cool very well. Now, I heard since I got the good part over, I could just blabber on and on because this is this, you're on my time now. I've already given my recommendation. This is my time. This is just filler, filler. Uh, okay, so what I wanted to talk about is like ABS does tend to warp, and they, they anyone will tell you anyone who does this printing, it's cheap. It's kind of cool because it's like the pla It's very uh, the, the PLA, you know, as you know, it's gonna like you put it outside in the sun, and like in a rainy day, it falls apart. Well, probably not that bad, but yeah, it has a low heat, and it just I want, if I if I make something, I want it to last. So that's why I love a, about ABS. But yeah, I'll tell you, it warps. It's tricky to work with. Now, it's not like I didn't um, do anything. I built the enclosure. It's not professional. It's the cheapest, pretty much free. It's got a little window. Actually, don't even open the window very much. It is kind of peeking, and the camera's in there too. So. Um, the OctoPrint camera, I can kind of remotely look at it. So I try and let this thing stay warm inside. It, I think it does help. But, and I did get the, the uh, glass printing bed, and I do keep the temperature. I did everything that it said to do about trying to have not no warping, but my plastics, my ABS from Amazon, just I guess it wasn't Amazon's fault, but it just kept warping. Now, there is one caveat is that I bought that, this is two years old, I, I bought it two years ago. Um, so, and you know, this is the cheapest as it gets, but ABS in general can warp, tends to warp, likes to warp, I don't know, it warps for me. Um, so that's why I wanted to switch to a no warping and from right off the bat, no warping. It could warp later, I don't know, I'll modify the review. If it starts warping, I'll, I'll leave some comments and I'll leave a comment. Um, 
But yeah, so I did everything. I did what I was supposed to do. I followed the orders, and I'm very happy. Again, um, go over it one more time. In case you stuck around this long, you forgot. What was that name again? Uh, I don't get paid for them. They don't send me anything. Forum Futura, Titan ABS. I got off black. I didn't have black or some sort of reason. Whatever. I don't, it looks black to me. Um, low warp, 1.75 millimeters, standard, uh, about a kilogram spool, two pounds, $43, 47 with tax. Um, it's they sell I think on their site, but it's I think it was more expensive or something. I just like through Amazon. I have a I have some uh, bonus points, whatever. Um, and makers, boy, I should write stuff I could actually read. Makers pick or something. Maybe, maybe makers pick. Um, anyway, so that's comparing it to the Amazon. And I've tried other filaments. Uh, you know, I've, I've, that is a different subject, but you know, I tried. I, I don't want anything that just doesn't work. That's not PLA. I don't want to use PLA. I don't want it to like. No tears to dissolve my thing. So, anyway, hope that helps. Uh, I wish I had. I just. I wish these video, more videos were out there, like on filaments. Just one filament, pros and cons. Uh, is there any cons? I mean, it's still ABS, and there's still the toxic fumes, and that's mainly it. So, anyway, that's the only con I can think of. Uh, and the price was a little high, but uh, yeah, ABS low warp. Actually, maybe no warp. I don't know if they say no warp, but low warp. And it definitely was low warp, or is low warp. Until I find otherwise. And again, I don't know if this one that uh, absorbs moisture, hydroscopic or whatever, uh, whatever there's a word for it, but I don't know if it absorbs moisture or not. But either way, I keep it in the box or I just keep it dry and uh, away from humidity. I try, I kind of, I kind of try to protect all my filaments, except for this this old Amazon one. I'm, I used a lot of it, actually. I did a lot of prints with it, so. Got my money for it. That's it. Peace out.